Let's go over the plugins I lean on the most. I call them my workhorse plugins. Let's get it. There are many different types of EQs, but I lump them into two different types of EQs. The first is corrective, and the other one is enhancement. So let's go over the first one, the Fab Filter Pro Q3. This one to me is the best corrective EQ on the market. Now before this one, I used to use the Sony Oxford EQ, and then after that, I used to use the BX Digital Version 3. So the main purpose of this EQ is to fix issues, taking out frequencies that I don't need, some high pass or low pass filtering, has a great notch feature so you can take out resonant frequencies. So overall, just a great problem solver EQ. The next two EQs are more of my color adding EQs. First is the Mog EQ. I reach for this for vocals, uh, mainly for buses that sound dark or any track that needs brightening up. The next EQ is the IK Master EQ 432. I mainly use this on my master. It's a great MS EQ that I use 100% of the time. Now let's move on to compression. Compression is hard because you never can get enough. There's never enough compression with the different types of compression. But these are the main three that I lean on. First is the Pulsar 1178. Mainly for lead vocals, sometimes on background vocals, also with parallel compression. It's my go-to compression for adding snap to those kicks or snares. Next is the Distressor. I mainly use this on drums, bass, and instrument buses. This is my rain things in compression. It's that get it tight, you got it right feel. It has a universal color and a certain saturation that really helps the mix. Next is the Fusion Audio Labs VCS-1. This is my go-to channel strip plugin. It has a great preamp section with three options of saturation, a top-end high-pass and low-pass filtering section. The routing on this is absolutely top-notch with the EQ, compression, limiter, gate, expander, a widener, <laughs> come on, man. This is why this is absolutely my go-to channel strip. All right, let's get to saturation. The first one I go to, if I'm not using the VCS-1, is the SSL X Saturator. The reason I go for this one is because it's really easy to get your even and odd harmonics, or if you just want your odd harmonics, you can get that just by a turn of a knob. Also, you can drive the harmonics with this drive knob, and I absolutely love the shape knob. The reason why I do is when you turn the shape knob right, the sound gets closer, and when you turn it left, sound moves back in the mix. Absolutely brilliant. Next is the UAD Neve 1084 Pre and EQ channel. I use the Pre on this to gain volume. Now pushing the line or the preamp on this really does give you level, gives you more volume and pushes the sound forward right in front of your face. And I absolutely love when plug-in companies go the extra mile to model those non-linear aspects of the hardware to make these plugins feel so real. Kudos to UAD for this plugin. Next, Dave Hill and his plugin company called Crane Song, and he only does plugins for Pro Tools. I own all of his plugins, but this one is a standout. It's called Phoenix 2, and it has five tape emulations from bright to dark as well as three different colors for those types. And before I move on, I have to give a shout out to Dave for Heat. It's an integrated Pro Tools plugin that actually brings saturation, everything from tape saturation to preamp saturation, easy as turning a knob and how much you need of that saturation. You definitely gotta try it out. It's a great addition to Pro Tools and well needed. Next, Reverb. I'm stuck with the old school vibe. I gotta have my 80s reverb. And this one is a unit I 
always wanted, the Lexicon 480L. And this one is called LX480 Complete. And Relab is the developer and one of the top reverb plugin companies. I absolutely love this plugin, but I will say if I need more CPU power, I'll go ahead and grab the UAD Lexicon 480L emulated version as they both sound amazing. Next, the UAD EMT 250. Who didn't want to own this EMT legend? Like the Lexicon 480L, I mainly use this on vocals. The 480L for lead and the EMT 250 for background vocals. Next, another classic, the EMT 140 plate by Fuse Audio Lab, known as the V-Rev 140. I use this a lot on snares, claps, keyboard parts, strings, just another reverb workhorse plugin that sounds absolutely wonderful. Next, delays. We'll start with the Waves H Delay. It's the first one I pick up. I use it on leads, background vocals, effects, like after a reverb, on lead lines. Just a great plugin in all. Next, Echo Boy by Sound Toys, one of the old school players of the game when it comes to Pro Tools plugins. The reason why I like this plugin is that it's simple to use, but you can go in deep when selecting the tweak button or the style edit button if you'd like to get more creative. But for me, I like to keep it simple. Or I'll go in deep, save the settings as a preset. Because as I'm mixing, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I just want to keep moving forward. Next, another old school player of the game, McDSP with EC300. This one has a lot of knobs and you can really go in. But to be honest, again, I like to keep it simple. So when I have time, I'll pull up this plugin, pull up a vocal and some sounds, create some really nice presets. So when I'm mixing, I just go to those presets and keep moving forward. But this delay is incredible. It actually comes with three delays in one. You gotta check it out. So this last channel of plugins I'm gonna show you is that I use on most sessions as needed. But these are absolutely some phenomenal plugins that you need to know if you don't know and are top notch. First, and the first plugin I've ever purchased, is Autotune by Antares. So anytime I'm recording a singer, I record them through Autotune. And if I need the key of a song, I always use Auto Key. Next is Blue Cat Audio Patchwork. I use this to bring in VST2, VST3, and AU plugins into Pro Tools. Also, if a plugin doesn't have an input or output and I need to use that functionality to enhance that plugin, I'll use this to do so. This next plugin is a godsend. It's M Auto Align by Melda Productions. I use this plugin to auto align kicks if it's multiple kicks in a session or an 808, a kick and a bass, I'll put this plugin on each one and it'll automatically auto align them. So they're in phase. Absolutely brilliant. This next plugin, Pi by Sound Radix, is also a brilliant plugin. I use this when I'm mixing live drums together. It just comes together so much faster than trying to auto align each one. I could just throw this plugin on each track, including the bass or keyboard parts, and it will align every track and the phase. This one is a time saver. Next is Rezo by mastering the mix. This one I use for taming resonant frequencies that can be in lead vocals, that can be in background vocals, that can be in keyboard parts, that can be in a vocal sample or any type of sample. I mean, I use this and I also use Soothe by OX Sound as both of them do a great job in getting rid of resonant frequencies. Next is Brush Free from Clevgrand. This one is a brilliant noise reducer and pretty much gets rid of any hum, any noise in the background and just works perfectly. Like I can't even explain what it does. Just by holding this button to capture whatever noise that you have coming from your mic, your room, your preamp, your keyboard, um, name it. It just takes away the noise as long as you can capture it. And I have most of the sound reduction plugins, Clarity from Waves, Cvox from UAD, 
RX from Isotope, NS1 from Waves, X Noise from Waves, W43 from Waves, and so far none of them can match this plugin. Run, go get it before the price goes up. <laughs> Last but not least, Master Check by Nugent Audio. I have two ways to check my levels. One, I have an external unit by TC Electronics called Clarity M, which is great. And that's a whole nother video. And Master Check. Now they both line up as far as LUFS wise, but this one goes a little bit more. It actually has an encoder. So you can hear your mix as if it was coming off of YouTube, Apple iTunes, Pandora, internet, radio, etc. An absolute great tool to have. All right, that is my workhorse plugins. Now, of course, I have and use other plugins, but these are my first go-tos. And if they don't work, well, I have a second and a third backup. And if that third backup doesn't work, then something's wrong with the audio or something I'm doing is wrong and I have to figure it out and I have the tools to do that as well. Maybe I'll go into that in a future video. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear what your go-to tools are. What is your workhorse plugins? Thanks again, see you on the next video.